Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Cutchall. I'm with Mrs. Anderson and Mrs. Chavez. We're going to guide you through taking an AR quiz. AR stands for Accelerated Reader, which is our PTO-funded online program promoting reading comprehension for first through fifth grade students. Once your child has read a book, book in their hands, they can go online to take a quiz Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. ARBookFinder.com is another online source where you can locate to see if their book quiz is in AR. Now here's Mrs. Anderson with more. Okay, so to log in to AR, you'll first need to go to your child's Clever page. So I'm gonna share my screen and we'll go there. Okay, um, let's see. So once you're in Clever, you, your teachers have um, the link accessible to AR in a couple of different areas. Most of the younger teach younger kids teachers have a page where they have the link there. Some of the older students, their teachers keep the link in their Google Classroom. If you're not sure, you can ask your child's teacher. Mine is right here. Okay, once you get to the home page, you're gonna click I'm a student. And this is where you enter your child's login information. Um, some students have the login information on their homework folder, a little sticker on the folder. Some have it in their binder reminder. Your child should know where that is. Let's see, so I'm gonna do mine. And then we'll log in. Okay, once you're at this page, you'll click Accelerated Reader and you'll find this page. Um, right here it says enter a title, author, or quiz number. If you open, if it's a library book from CircleView and you open the front cover, usually there is a quiz number. That's the easiest way for the younger kids to be able to find their quiz. So um, I have a book called Penguins and Their Chicks and the quiz number is written inside. So I'm gonna type that quiz number and search for that book. And here it is. Um, if you have a book at home that you want to take a quiz on, you can also search by title if you don't have the quiz number. So if I had this book at home, I would just type penguins and their chicks, and I could click search. When I did that search, it came up with 28 items because there are a lot of books about penguins and chicks. So that might be a little bit tricky. You could maybe find your book that way. If there were too many to uh, find, you could also narrow your search by entering the author's number. So the author for this book, her last name is Hall. If I enter Hall next to the title and search, now I can see that we're back to just one item. Here's the book. Okay, once you're here, there's some information about the book. You'll see the headphones here. That is perfect for the younger kids. This means that when they get to the quiz, it will read the quiz to them. If you don't see this, then that means the children are going to need to be able to read the quiz to themselves, or maybe a parent can help read the quiz. Um, over here, this is a quiz number that I typed in earlier. This is how many points. If they get 100% on the quiz, that's how many points they will earn. And this is the reading level. So this is a first grade level book, which is why the one is there. And the nine means the ninth month of first grade. All right, so we'll click, click take a quiz. When you do that, you'll see a drop down menu. Sometimes over here on this side, it'll say vocabulary quiz. If you see that, just skip that one. You wanna focus on the one that says reading practice. That's how you're gonna earn points. So we'll start the quiz. Once you start, you have to finish the quiz. So make sure that you're prepared to start the quiz and finish all the way through. Okay, um, it just asks, how did you read the book? And in my class, we listen to the book. You can click any of those choices and it will not affect your score on how many points you earn. Down here, it says, do I want the quiz to be read to me? Uh, most of the kids click yes for the purpose of going a little bit quicker. I'm gonna put no and I'll just read through it with you and we'll start the quiz. Okay. So penguins use their wings to swim. Once you click your answer, you'll need to click next. Where do some penguins keep their eggs? On their feet. I know a lot about penguins. 
Why do penguin chicks sometimes stand together to keep warm? Okay, at the end, when you're done with your quiz, it'll ask you how you liked the book. And, you know, the penguin book was one of the best that we've ever read. We'll click next. And this is what it looks like once you're done with your quiz. And I'm gonna have Ms. Chavez go over how to uh, look up your points and find out more about your problem. Perfect, thank you, Mrs. Anderson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've finished the quiz and now we're gonna see our progress and that will take us through how many points we've earned up to that point in the year. Your child's teacher will go ahead and set their trimester goals for them, for them to reach certain prizes or things that we have set up in the classroom or through our PTO. Um, so the rocket can show you what, where they're at uh, according to the goal. If you want to, you can also scroll down a little bit and see how many words your child has read and we kind of have a fun thing for that in the library. We have a million word club and the kids can go ahead and sign their name on the poster that Mrs. Wahlberger has made. Um, another thing that we can look at is my completed work. And this will show you all of the past quizzes your child has taken. It will go through this year. It'll go through prior years. If you were uh, taking penguins and chicks as a first grader, you cannot take it again as a third grader. Uh, so you can only take the quiz one time. So make sure that you have read the book, you're prepared, you only get one chance at it. Um, another thing that can be helpful for parents is if you go back to the home screen, you can just scroll down, it's hidden for you, so it's hard to find, but you can go ahead and enter your email and you can get updates when your child is taking a quiz and what they received on that quiz. So we hope this tutorial was very helpful for you and um, glad that you took the time to watch it. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson, Mrs. Petchall. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, we'll stop sharing the screen. And thanks for being here. Bye. Good luck. <laughs>